Okay, I am here live. Good morning, Bob. How you doing today? <clears throat> Hopefully, we'll get enough stream here. I had a really good connection a little while ago, and it uh, it doesn't look as good right now. But hopefully, let me know if you uh, see any uh, glitches or anything like that, or if it's uh, doing things. Uh, let me know in the chat. All right. So, ain't no one to talk with all by myself. Is that the right chord? No one to walk with, I'm just happy on the shelf. Mm, I like the minor chord there. Hey, misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. Let's see what's my next chord. Let's see here. We got Dean here. Happy fourth of the fifth. <laughs> Everybody said happy the fifth of the fourth. Happy fourth of July. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bob. Looking and sounding good. Oh, good. It says that my stream health is not that great. So hopefully uh, it'll be it'll be fine for the rest of the stream. Today we're talking about what is a good song, and I'm going to give you my opinion. And if you would like to put your opinion in the chat, that would be great. So I've got a couple of resources here. Um, the other day I was looking through some stuff and I found some some three ring binders that I used to take to live gigs. And uh, I was just looking at my repertoire. And I'll tell you, one of the things that I do when I'm trying to figure out if I like a song or not, and it's not just, uh, is the music good, but also, do I like the lyrics, especially if I'm going to, uh, you know, sing the song. Uh, it's not so important. Uh, good morning. Hello, hello. I don't even know your name. W-A-8-A-R-S. That's what it says here. Okay. Whoever that is. Thank you for coming. Good morning. I think it might be somebody from uh, Tucson, Arizona. Very possibly a friend of ours. Yeah, I think it's Mike. Hey, Mike. So um, lyrics are a really important thing to me. And uh, I'll tell you, when I was growing up, I didn't worry so much um, about, you know, what, uh, most of the songs I thought were pretty good. Um, as I get older, as, as I got older, I got more picky about what I would listen to and what I would uh, put into my head because... I figured out that uh, if you actually had things going into your brain, it affected you over the long run. You know, like uh, if it was songs about, you know, love, then you tended to have more love in your life. Get my pick out here if I need it. So uh, lyrics are really important to me because I like singer-songwriters a lot. Let's see what the chat says. A good song should stand alone without any music and qualify as a good poem. Dean says that. You know that I believe that that's that could be true. Uh, hey Dave, how you doing? The um, poems are good. Sometimes uh, there's a song that I liked in my youth called "She Loves You," and it went like, "She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah." If you read the words to that song, it's uh. It's not really a great poem, but, <laughs> but it was kind of a fun song. <laughs> uh, what would you say good songs are subjective to the listener? Absolutely, Brian. Um, you know, this is such a, a, an important topic because everybody likes different kinds of music, for one thing. Everybody likes different kinds of messages. And uh, wherever we are in our life... Um, we have a tendency to gravitate, like you've heard this, the, the saying, birds of a feather flock together. Well, I think that's really true because we, uh, we go to one side or the other, you know, we, we tend to, uh, gravitate towards people that, that have our views and that kind of thing. Well, the chat looks good today. Um, so I want to talk about this from Brian. Would you say songs are subjective to the listener? I absolutely do. There was a guy that I taught a long time ago. He was about 13, 14 years old when I started teaching him. His, his name was David. 
And uh, he told me when he first started, um, in fact, I was uh, the head of a, a high school at the time. It was a private uh, arts high school. And uh, David got kicked out of his public school because he had a fist fight with the, uh, the assistant principal. That was his last experience in public schools. And, and his uh, mom brought him over to us and said, we want him to go to school, but you know, he, he's not working in public school. It's not working at all for him. Can you take him? You know, and I, and I said to David, so David, um, what do you want? You know, what do you want to do? And he goes, I just want to play guitar. I said, okay, we'll play guitar, do that. And we had classes and things like that. We had music classes, like theory classes and, and things. And, um, he wouldn't do anything. He wouldn't, he wouldn't participate in class, but he had his electric guitar and he played it dry, you know, just like this, no amplifier. And, uh, I said, you know, if you want to be really good on guitar, you need to really focus. And the, the only things he wanted to listen to were uh, Metallica, Slayer, and and bands like that. Kind of, And Metallica was, you know, it's a pretty good band. Slayer, I hadn't really heard of. And there was a few other bands. Some of them were, were really hard rock. But he was getting into some trouble. His friends were getting drunk and getting, you know, stealing cars and things like that. And his mom was kind of worried about him. Well, anyway... Um, so David came to our school, and I taught him guitar, and basically, you know, I didn't bug him about, uh, uh, you know, not doing work in class and stuff like that, because we had uh, we had a philosophy that, you know, sometimes people need to just chill out for a little while. And uh, anyway, David was there about a year and a half, and he really started really playing the guitar. He started playing about 10 to 12 hours a day. And uh, so... I remember that his his journey, you know, he he really got good on that stuff on on heavy metal and things like that. And after he was good at it, he said, "Is there, what else is there? You know, what what else is there out there?" And I said, "Well, you know, there's there's other kinds of music that you can explore." I remember when we were having a um uh what do you call it a um, a Halloween thing. You know, we were doing a haunted house. And I had Bach playing, da 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 da, that kind of thing, and uh, other kinds of music that were classical music that had kind of a scary theme to it. I remember he walked into the room. I was working on the on the uh, Mad uh, Doctor room, and he goes, "What is that?" And I said, "That's Bach." He goes, "That's cool." <laughs> and so his musical experience, you know, it went from just wanting to learn hard rock to learning, you know other kinds of music, and eventually he really loved jazz and became a good jazz player. Okay, so it really depends because we have this journey that we go on, okay? So um, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Good songs equals evokes emotion, Bob says, lyrics, melody, hook, recognizable progression. Exactly. You know, a song has a hook, and it hooks you in, and it has... uh, that, that's one of the things that, you know, popular songs, they're like, you know, you need a hook. Uh, some of the most popular songs or well-known songs uh, kind of break some of those rules, though. Isn't that true? Uh, Dean says, one great line of poetry. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn to minutes to hours? Oh, I'd have to look that one up. Okay. Um, anyway, let's go to... Uh, Somebody can look that up for Dean. Just just Google it, Dean. Type that in, and you'll find it. All right. Well, there's there's a whole bunch of things. In fact, I was just having, um, looking at this. It's called the the ultimate fake book, right? And it's got all kinds of stuff in it. In fact, um, I opened it up, and in the A's, it's got ain't misbehaving. No one to talk with all by myself. Let's see, F sharp diminished. No one to walk with, I'm just happy on the shelf. I like a A minor that ain't misbehaving. Um, that's an old jazz standard. Oh, here's one by the Beatles. Let's see. All you need is love. Do, 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 do. that one that's fun 
Gordon Lightfoot. You know, Dean, I knew you were a good, good li- <laughs> Gordon Lightfoot fan. Huge Gordon Lightfoot fan, isn't it? Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. You know, that's not my favorite song by uh, by Gordon Lightfoot. I hate to break it to you, but, you know, I love Gordon Lightfoot. And uh, everybody, like I said, everybody resonates at a different level. Um, beer Barrel Polka. <laughs> Oh, Black Magic Woman. I got a Black Magic Woman. I'm just kind of going through here. Blue Skies. Here's another uh, jazz standard. Blue Skies. What's that chord right there? Blue Skies smiling at me. Nothing but blue sky. Do I see? Blue Skies. That's really a fun song. I don't really know it. And I'll have to, I'd have to work on it. Bye, bye, love. Oh, Cecilia. Uh, I don't know what that one is. I was thinking about Cecilia. You're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. I think that's a... Oh, here's one. Eight days a week. Oh, I need your love, babe. Because you know it's true. Beatles. Yeah. Edelweiss. From the uh, Sound of Music. Edelweiss. Let's see. Oh, that's not it. Edelweiss. Edelweiss. Sometimes those those songs are really great too. Friends in low places. I think that's from. Uh, what do you call that? Country singer. How high the moon. Now this this is an interesting book because it's got all kinds of old stuff in it. And stuff I don't really know. Uh, I'm only a paper moon. Anyway, uh, let's let's put this one away. Let's see what else we got in the chat. Uh, Brian says, I've been playing the guitar since 27. It definitely opened me up to music I would likely not have given a chance. Dean, Dean says, "Ben Bells of the Evening is one of my favorite Lightfoot songs. Excellent. You know, I, I'm going to have to listen to that one again. Here's one by uh, the Eagles. I usually play this one on the keyboard, but I'll... Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long now. Hard one. I like that one. Yeah, that one's fun. Uh, let's see. There's a song by Sting called Fragile. That was a really good one. Um, this one, this uh, book that I've got right here, this has a, a lot of interesting things. When I wake up, let's see. When I wake up, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. 500 miles. Okay, I didn't miss anything. That's good. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff. Just what I needed. I don't mind you coming here. I'm wasting all my time. That's kind of a fun song. Oh, oh. You know this one, John Lennon? There are places I remember all my life Though some have changed I've got a video on that one That one's a really fun one Here's one by Creed just heard the news today it seems my life is going to change I used to play that one and uh, I have never taught that one on video this is an interesting uh, oh here's one I haven't taught this one either but I need to let's see what na 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 Wild world. Now that I've lost everything to you, you say you want to start something. 
something new. I love that one. I think I'm going to teach that one pretty soon. Pearl Jam, Last Kiss is a sad one. Ah, that's fun. Never heard myself saying, that's a great rap song. <laughs> I like that. You know, rap songs, I hardly ever listen to rap. Every once in a while, I touch on it just a little teeny bit, but uh, I have to say that, um, no, I don't have any rap in my repertoire. Here's one um, by Cream. <laughs> Siberia, greetings. Welcome. Thank you for checking in. When the white room with black curtains near the station, black roof country, no gold pavements, tired starlings. Yeah, I like that one. White room, that's a fun one. You know, I haven't practiced this stuff at all. I'm just like picking it out and just looking through it. <laughs> Here's a song that my kids like. I've been waiting in a velvet sea. I've been waiting in the velvet sea. I've been waiting in the velvet sea. I've been waiting in the, I've been waiting in the. You ever heard that one before? I'm trying to remember the name of the band that did that one. Let's see here. Oh, turn the page. On a long and lonesome highway east of Omaha. Let's see, how's it go? On the road again. All right, let's turn the page. I, no, I forget how that one goes. I'd have to listen to just like a moment of it, and then I'd have to do it. Oh, yeah, this one I did a... saw you in heaven tears in heaven you know what i have tears in heaven in my book quail studios music and lead sheets book <laughs> i'm gonna make a little uh uh commercial here for my for my book because i've got tears in heaven i think i've even got it in tablature and the chords and the lead sheet and everything so in case you want it Oh, and also, earrings. Let me tell you a little bit about earrings here. There you go, that way. Um, my uh, my daughter-in-law, Savannah, makes earrings. And they're very beautiful, and you can get them for anyone you love. Uh, she gets pierced earrings and also, you know, earrings that are not pierced. Anyway, she's at Instagram. These are just some of the earrings that you can get. You know why you want to get earrings for a loved one or for a girlfriend or anybody you love, daughter, granddaughter? Because it will help the channel. At Simple Joy Earrings at Instagram, go check it out. All right, that was my commercial. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's go on. Fish. Uh, David, hello. That was it. Thank you for coming. Fantastic. Very good. Look at that. Dean is, is talking to people from different, from Indonesia. Hello, Indonesia. Welcome. Thank you very much. Aj, Aji from Indonesia. If I ever get a classical guitar, the first song I would learn is Canon in D and possibly the last because it takes me a year. <laughs> That's great. Could we get you to play some RHCP? Yeah, like, uh, you know what? I had one right here a second ago. Anybody know who RHCP is? Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've got a few Red Hot Chili Peppers songs. Um... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't have a 
partner Sometimes I feel like my only friend Is the city I live in The city of angels Lonely as I am Together we cry There you go, there's a little RHCP. Red Hot Chili Peppers. I do have a video on this one and also on some other songs by RHCP. Um, check them out. Let's see. Snow is a good one. That's true. That's true. I like snow. You know what I did? I did a video on snow. Where'd my capo go? I'll use this capo. This one is actually for my classical guitar, which is right there. Um, and I put a, a capo on, on four. Oops. Come to decide that the things that I tried. Oops. Come to decide that the things that I tried were in my life just to get high on. When I lay it on, come get to play it on all my life to sacrifice. And I know I'm not doing it without the capo like uh, like the guitar player does. You know, he does it like this. No, I like to do it with a capo because it's a little easier. And it's good for beginning and intermediate guitar players. Vincent by Don McLean. Yes, I did Vincent, uh, a video on Vincent. Anyway, these, these songs, uh, songs like this, these are the ones I really, really love. Let's uh, turn the page. Oh, here's one. Try to see it my way Don't have to keep on talking till I can go on While you see it your way Knowing that our love will soon be gone Right? We can work it out. Lennon and McCartney. Uh, let's see here. I already did that one. I'm just kind of going through my, my list here. Turning the pages. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, here's fun, one by uh, Beatles. You're gonna lose that girl. You're gonna lose that girl. If you take her out to... Oh, if, if you don't take her out tonight, she's gonna change her mind. Gonna change her mind. Right? You know that one? That's a great one. Happy Independence Day to America. Thank you very much. I went and go see. I got went to go see some uh, fireworks yesterday. It was fantastic. It was really great. So we did that last night. Today is the holiday, so people can have a day off. Uh, anyway, so I I encourage you and and all over my uh, channel. I like certain kinds of music. I have a certain level of, uh, I guess you could say, morality level that I like to stick to. I don't like to do songs that are lewd and and ugly and talk about, you know, things that tear down uh, life and people. I like to uplift people uh, as much as I can. So thank you very much for coming, and we'll talk to you later. Eleanor Rigby, I love that. Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor Rigby. Da, 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 Yep. Thank you. Great song to learn. The A major seven and some of the very A, A chords. Yeah. Love Vulture by John Mayer by Timothy. Okay. I'll have to listen to that one. I don't know if I know that one. You've got a friend when you're down, down in trouble and you need a helping hand. You've got a friend. Carol King. James Taylor did that one. Anyway, I'm just looking through my book here. Just coming up with some songs that... Uh, things that I like. What do you like? Put them in the chat. If you're looking at this later on and uh, you'd like to contribute to the chat, just go ahead and put songs that you love and music that you love in the chat. It'll be great. Well, thank you for being here. Happy Independence Day to all. This is in the U.S. And thank you for being here, Dean and Brian and Tim and Aj, Aji. And uh, David, I appreciate you being here. And uh, I already said Timothy. Did I say Timothy? Yes, I did. And uh, the one that said, could you get, get you to play some RHG dog 0331? I think you're from uh, 
Are you from Indonesia? Kwaku? From, uh, where'd you go? I lost it. From Russia, whoever that is. Kwaku? I don't know how to say it. But thank you for being here, and everybody, Brian and uh, Mike and uh, Bob, I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for being here. I'm going to take off. Because I'm going to connect with my followers over on uh, a live chat, a uh, hangout. So come and see me over there if you know who I am, if you got my email. And if you don't, come see me. Give me a message at lessonswithhal at gmail.com. I can put you on the email list. If you're a supporter, you get to hang out with me right after live streams. Okay, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.